Yeah, and uh, it, uh, we felt like that um, was able to give us a, a spark that we needed to win. That's that's what's important. Um, you guys know it doesn't matter. I don't really care if I score points. It's just a matter of helping us win, whatever that takes. Do you flip a switch, man? I mean, it's your last postseason, right? It, it looks like you're not that you haven't been locked in before, but maybe more locked in than ever. Uh, yeah, I would say that. Um, kind of like that guy hinted at yesterday. That counting how many you got left. Uh, I hope we have a lot of games left. We got about seven more, I think. Hopefully, but uh, yeah, I got a. I gotta, I got not got not a lot left, and I'm playing my hardest each one. Of them. What was your view of Otai's stuff? Insane. Are you, like, he might be the highest like jumper off of lobs I think I've ever seen. Like it's insane. But I got to see the replay. I still haven't seen the replay yet. Incredible. The question on Twitter is bigger highlight: his lob or your three? His lob for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, anybody can hit a three, but I don't think anybody else can jump to 12 and a half feet in the air and dunk that but for take, sure him take us through the three you used to pull that you haven't done it a lot this year what what was the moment why, why did <laughs> I, I i was feeling it so i think i had, I had to I had to shoot something i talked to my dad uh, last night about it and he was like why don't you just shoot one because they don't ever guard you I was like, yeah, might as well i mean feeling good so uh, I was glad it went in, and I was, I was excited to help you guys win. You have made 12 in your career. Why none this year? You were zero for zero until today. Um, I don't know. It's just, I don't think it's, the team needed it. I mean, we have so many great shooters. Uh, being able to get them shots is, is, a be- is a better look for us, and it just so happened tonight that I was feeling it, and they left me open. So I was just glad, glad to be able to make it, but other guys shooting is probably going to be a better look for us. You yes. think the second one was down? Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought the second one was down. I thought the free throw jumper was down, too. It's one of those nights I felt like everything was going. Yesterday, five blocks, one off the career high. Hey, uh, being able to protect the rim is important to me. Uh, I know this team, uh, they, they depend on those big guys to be able to step over and uh, affect shots at the rim. So got to do that. But also, I got to I gotta rebound better. Uh, today, I think you saw me give up a couple offensive rebounds against Lampkin that, that we need to eliminate in order for us to be our best selves. Has this team's defense taking a step forward the last week or so last I think, couple games? I think I think our first shot defense today, I, I prefaced this earlier, but our first shot defense today was, was great. Uh, I think we got how many, I think six shot clock violations. I, I, in my time here, it's been a while. I don't think we've ever had six in a game. So it was, it was impressive to see those guys out there turned up. That, that's a tribute to the guards. Those guys are, are so turned up. When it, from Remy to Joe to Dewan, Oach, CB, all those guys so turned up on defense. What does that look like? Quick, I mean, every uh, they can't make any pass without thinking, hey, that guy might steal that. That guy's there, and he's in the lane, or he's in the passing lane. So there's so many different things that go into it, but just being turned up, you can you can you can tell when our team's turned up. Coach, what you uh, think? You, how much confidence do you have in your jump right now? I'm feeling good. Uh, we do it in practice uh, a lot. Just being being able to go out there and. And uh, do it during the game is, is what I need to be able to do. You're, you're almost sometimes not even seeing the rim before you start starts the process. I mean, we'll kind of take them through. So I was joking with Coach Rob. We've done, I don't know if you guys know what Big Little is, but we, uh, we go down and work Big Little. We do that a zillion times. Just do it for six years. You should be able to do it without looking at it. What is, what is a big what, Tell us. Take me uh, the guards go down one end and work on guard stuff. And the oh, big okay. goes work on big guy stuff at the other end. Oh. Starts out with a bunch of jump hooks, right hand, left hand. Uh, quick moves, uh, touch shots, so a bunch of things that, that happen in the game that, that we can work on to, to make it make ourselves better. Hey, Mitch, you guys were, I think, plus 11 in turnovers, plus 19 in points off turnovers. Just when you hear those numbers, what goes through your mind? Uh, like, like I said, we were turned up defensively. If, if, if we do that, we, we give ourselves the best chance to win. I think we at their place, we had one steal. Uh, I don't, how many steals do we have today? You guys know? I, think, I, I promise you it was more than one. Uh, I think uh, I think when we're turned up, we can we can be a great defensive team. But when we're out there going through the motions, it, it allows teams to get comfortable, and and uh, that's a recipe for disaster. Was that the big difference between the two games earlier against them and tonight? Yeah, I think the uh, the first game for sure. The second game, I think we were super we were right. we were super sped up. Uh, that that led to us kind of playing tight. And today, I think we went out there and we played loose. Uh, we played for each other and we played for our coaches and, this, and these fans. Thank you.